Hello and welcome back to another video by Joshua Hintz. Uh, in this video I'm actually playing around with a Atmel AVAR chip. So I've gone away from the 6502 just for a little bit and I'm playing around with this AVAR chip. This one right here in particular is the Atmega 168. It has lots of different little features. It's a full-blown micro microcontroller with an internal RC oscillator. What I'm doing is I'm actually feeding with an external oscillator here so we can actually clock this thing up to 20 megahertz to get plenty of fast speed out of it. Uh, what else we got going on? We have the UART right here which is hooked up to this TTL, the serial converter. It's bringing it over here to RS-232 into the computer. We also have the um, uh, programming cable right here, this in-circuit programming cable that comes over here to this homemade protoboard that I have that just uh, does a parallel to uh, it's basically programs with a spy over the ISP there's my little wire wrapping slash solder job there and uh, makes it for a nice I guess programmer you can build for three dollars yourself uh, you can find plenty of instructions on the internet since the AVARs are quite popular so we got that going on I also have this DB15 joystick that's connected so we have this joystick over here it's an analog joystick with a couple digital buttons that we have uh, I got the oscilloscope hooked up power supply TV and that's it so let's go over here now this is going to be hard to see in the uh, program but uh, basically I have AVAR studio open right here I got a little bit of code written and what I'm doing is I'm actually reading in the joystick values uh, the analog values of the joystick and I'm actually printing it out to the UART buffer then displaying it in Windows Hyperterminal. So let's see if we can bring that up. So we have that going on right there and we can actually go ahead and see that the values here change as I move the joystick to the left. I'm only updating right now at uh, two times a second. And if I go to the right move the y-axis up and down button zero button one and so forth so now let's go ahead and let's reprogram this thing let's change that delay so now that we're going to be updating quite a bit faster possibly uh, about five times a second so I'm going to hit F7 compile that it compiled then we're going to go to this program right here called Pony Programmer which programs over this serial port. I'll hit control P and we'll start writing it out. Writes it, and then it does a verification. And as it verifies all of it, we wait. It says it's done, succeeded. Let's go back to hyperterminal. Now we can see the values are updating quite a bit faster. and we move that around up buttons so what are we doing also what I'm doing also is I am taking a PWM output and I'm changing it based on where we have our joystick position so uh, we have that going over here to the oscilloscope you can see I move the joystick to the left to the right you can change that PWM value and I'm going to feed it into the TV And see so you can hear these little tones as I move the joystick up and down. And so my battery is about to die on this camera. So I'm just going to say goodbye and we'll see you the next time.